high-profile asset managers. Neil Woodford has suspended trading in his largest fund because of a big rise in investors wanting to take their money out. It's reported the fund was frozen after a particularly large client, said to be Kent County Council, asked for its money to be returned. Well, let's speak now to our business presenter, Dominic O'Connell, who joins me now. Dominic, what's going on? So, uh, lots of people followed Neil Woodford, who's one of the few star names in fund management. When he set up his own fund, he used to work for a fund called Invesco Perpetual, did very well over a long period of time, went out on his own, and lots of people followed him. But he's had a terrible few years, particularly in this fund, which is called the Equity Income Fund. It's his biggest one. Uh, and such has been the level of withdrawals that he has decided to stop withdrawals. Now, you, he can do this. It's not like a bank account where your money you can access your money at any time. You, but he can stop you selling out the shares because he says it's in the interest, the wider interest of all, everybody who's in it. Because if he has to sell all the assets in the fund, you end up... having a fire sale and people get out a lot less than they put in. So he's trying to guard against that. What we don't know, though, is when the, when the gates will, will be opened again, when people will be able to trade again. It gets reviewed every 28 days, but there's been no indication from Woodford yet as to when people will be able to trade again. And Very bad news if you're invested in this fund. Yes, and explain to me why it is that he was such a star before and his star has fallen. Well, that's uh, this is it. Who, who is a star fund manager? Who's a star stock picker? It's very hard to be a star stock pick, pick, picker year after year after year. Neil Woodford was well known for a slightly contrary style, a value, what's called a value investor, whatever, whatever that means. You go for companies that you think are undervalued. Uh, in recent years, he's he has he has con tried to continue that style, but basically he's picked some pretty duff companies. He, he picked a company called Kia. He's a 20% shareholder in Kia. Yesterday, when he was closing the fund, it put out a giant profits warning, uh, and its, its shares slumped by uh, by 40%, so a double whammy for him. He's also, though, rather unusually gone for some companies whose shares are not traded on the stock exchange, private companies, and that rather exacerbates the situation because you can't just go to the stock exchange and sell the shares. You have to wait till the buyer comes along, which makes a sort of liquidity crunch, the idea of having illiquid assets, but the ability for investors to get their money out day to day, it's a mismatch, and it's been exacerbated by Neil Woodford's decision to buy some private companies in the hope of greater returns. So it's not. So you think it's it's a it's a micro problem about him and what he, and his strategy rather than anything about the wider economy, Brexit, all these kind of bigger mm. strategic issues. No, this is limited to this this Neil this this single fund that he has. He has a few others as well. It's limited to that fund, and it's a problem about the performance of the fund, a loss of confidence in the fund, which has led to withdrawals, and all that has has exacerbated the run on the fund. It's not the money is still there. It's just that Neil Woodford doesn't want to sell doesn't want to sell all the underlying assets quickly because. He doesn't want to hurt investors more. I think investors would be pretty aggrieved anyway, to be frank, to be honest. Don, thanks so much. Right, we are going to.